Hi there LEGO fans! Uh, quite a while ago I submitted an idea to LEGO Ideas for a handheld uh, multi-game sort of game board system. Uh, I came up with a bunch of games for it and uh, it didn't do very well on Ideas but I did get lots of requests. My main thing was getting requests for a tutorial and I believe that the majority of the t requests were for how to basically to see what's under the hood right here. The interest is how to make this little paddle. So, um, even though I have several updates to this thing, that's why I'm only going to show one half of it. The other side's the updated half. Uh, what I'll do is I'll focus on the original design, and uh, hopefully someday I'll I'll resubmit this to Ideas and maybe uh, get maybe maybe it'll get a little bit more support. Who knows? Uh, hopefully the updated version will will wow the crowd. But just as a small reminder of what this thing looked like, here is the video that I originally posted to LEGO Ideas to help advertise the handheld arcade. Presenting the latest in rebuildable handheld game technology comes complete with sleek European building materials, comfort grip handles, and twin turbo paddle blasters. Let's start by building Ski Ball. Try your hand at target practice. It can transform into space pinball. Six, five, four, three, one. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's start by doing a bit of a. I'm going to let you just take a quick peek under the hood. See if you guys can all take a quick guess as to how this works now. Huh? Anybody figured it out yet? All right, you don't have to guess. I'll give you a bit of a tutorial. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna tear this down, and uh, let's all. Uh, and then we'll we'll cut to it all torn down, and then we can build it back up together. Here we go. So what I'll do is I'll try to keep the game board sitting like this so that it's easier to follow the tutorial. I think this view angle will be uh, will satisfy all curiosity. Um, I've taken a couple pieces off here. Obvious, I mean, I wasn't going to go through how to build the whole game board. This is mostly just a plate, some a wall that I built with some curves at the edge. That's, uh, I mean, that can be up to y'all. Uh, I'm not exactly certain what you'll be using this uh, for, so uh, obviously create what you want. The um, handles were... Uh, I, I kind of like them. They, they're smooth on both sides. So, anyway, we'll jump to the actual mechanics of the flipper arm. Uh, step one: uh, get this layout here. I had uh, the two by two with the peg coming up plate or a tile. Two of those right next to each other in alignment. In alignment from that is two uh, jumpers, the one by two jumpers with one stud in the center, and then one out from there is another two by two. Could be any color. I had mine was a little colorful. Uh, any color obviously that's not the requirements here, but you can see so it goes one two three one two That's the main layout uh, We're gonna jump to I took two two of these you're gonna get like a little stud any color and a uh, round stud and a round Tile one. We'll just clamp pop that on Same same thing put it right here. These are guides These are basically just to guide something something's gonna be traveling through here and uh, these are just to help guide it then what you're going to end up doing is, let's get the next kind of part here. Sorry, I didn't have to jump this together. So you're going to take one of these little L shapes. So it's, th uh, I'm going to slide it in here. You got one, two, three. And then this way is one, two, three, four, five. In the second one, you put the little ball hinge with a peg uh, from the techniques department in there. You're going to take one of these, at least I did. You don't have to do this part, but this is now um, additional little tidbits. This is the uh, the little pin with just a, kind of a half thing there, almost like a stud. Uh, stick two of those in at this layout. Got that. All right, now we're going to attach that to this. And this makes for the actual trigger. Next piece. I'm going to have you build this piece here. 
Um, so this is a one by five, uh, one by five lift arm with a one by two lift arm on top, and uh, just two little pins that hold it together, little techniques pins. This goes into your yellow, onto your yellow thing. This is the actual paddle. So now that you're there, you need to make this whole thing, these two pieces attached. So we'll fold that down. I'm going to take one of these, the one with the uh, pin on one side, axle on the other, and stick it in here. Hooray! We got that much. Isn't that going great? That sits there. We're going to take a one by two, I mean, sorry, just a standard pin. Pin on both sides, the frictionless kind, so the gray kind, uh, so no friction, and stick that there. I then take, what I needed was a one by four lift arm, I didn't have any of those. And if you guys can hear all the kids screaming, that's because I have kids, which is why my videos take so long to make. Um, but anyway, we're going to put that on here, and uh, at the time of making this originally, I didn't really need it to have this bubble on the edge, so if they ever do make a 1x4, that is all that you need, but uh, I didn't have one, so mine has the one more pin coming out the side, so it is the L. So now you can see the mechanics. So now that we have this flipper, your question is how to make it so that it automatically goes back. Well, you probably already guessed it from the previous views that I ended up using a rubber band and not a spring but let's add these uh, two of these little tubes so it's got uh, room for a pin on both sides we'll put one on here another one here and now our little guide little channel that travels through is uh, in pretty good shape I'm going to then take a rubber band my actual Lego rubber bands have all died or all broken up over time so I've got little little hair band rubber band so I loop it around once and then I grab this piece drive it through the middle can you tell what I just did it's kind of a almost doubled up let's get zoom see this you get that now all right there you have that now I just capped it off with two of these so one like that, that's just kind of just like that, like that. That's kind of why it starts getting all covered up. And uh, just for fun, decorate it a little bit. And then cap the whole thing off. And then this is what adds that final little level of stability for the whole thing so that it doesn't fall apart as you play with it. You don't knock over the guides or the pins. And so... Your next uh, conundrums will be issues like how to make it so that it stops in the right position. I'm coming up with a whole new way on this side. Uh, but this original technique was basically just to get a brick right here that it lands on. And then if you go too far, if it travels too far, it will uh, it'll go full straight and then it won't actually recoil. So... Put a little uh, cheese slice there that stops it just right. That's uh, right up against that yellow piece, and this uh, corner needs to just be uh, one down and one over, or from or one down and two over from the corner of that yellow piece that has the uh, arm attached to it. I uh, in the video you'll see I decorated it with that. And uh, then coming down here is more or less a ball catch. So if you're if you miss, the ball gets caught. Let's see here. There you go. Um, well, I certainly hope that this is uh, useful to some folk. And um, if you guys do end up making your own little version of it or whatever, uh, let me know. Uh, well, you guys take care. I hope this is of interest. Uh, I am going to try to repost this to LEGO Ideas, my upgraded version or updated version. Uh, I need a couple more parts to show up, and uh, I'll get that posted. So keep your eye out for that. And uh, if you do get around to uh, going to Ideas, I have uh, the Clockwork Aquarium, which would certainly uh, benefit from your support on LEGO Ideas. 
Uh, so with all that, thank you greatly and take care.